Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History channel. Today I'll be doing another video and it'll be titled The Top 5 Hardest Clubs to Support in the Super League. I'm pretty sure the likes of you would already know of St Helens, Leeds, Bradford and Wigan, but spare a thought for some of the other clubs in Super League and their fans. They would most certainly go through the full range of emotions supporting their club and today I'm bringing you in my personal opinion, the top five hardest clubs to support in the Super League. Now, just remember, this is my own personal opinion. I'm pretty sure you out there would probably have your own list. So let's get started with the first club on this list at number five. It's going to be Salford. Now, Salford have been in the Super League continuously since 2009. They're also in the Super League between 1997 to 2002. Then they were relegated. Then they come back in 2004 and then they lasted until 2007 until they were relegated again. Um, in the last 10 years, they've finished 11th five times. They did have a bit of, res of a resurgence in the last couple of years. They reached the 2019 Super League Grand Final, which they lost against St. Helens. And then in 2020, they lost the Challenge Cup Final in very dramatic circumstances against Leeds. They've also narrowly avoided relegation. In 2016, they won the million pound game. Their last bit of silverware was the 1976 Rugby Football League Championship, which they won. Besides that, they haven't won anything since. And their last Challenge Cup goes all the way back to 1938-1939, off the top of my head. Supporting Salford must be very difficult, especially this year. So at number five, they come in on this list. Coming in at number four on this list is Huddersfield. Huddersfield's last championship was 1962 and their last Challenge Cup was 1953. So it's been a long time between drinks for Huddersfield. Um, since they've entered the Super League competition, when it became the Super League in 1996, um, they've had financial issues. They had the short major with Sheffield when they were the Huddersfield-Sheffield Giants. They've spent some time outside of the top division in England. In 2013, they come first for the first time in 81 year when they won the league leader Shields, but that year they feel to go on with it and they feel to reach the grand final. They did reach the 2006 and 2009 Challenge Cup finals where they lost both of those. And since 2016, the club has finished 12th, 8th, 5th, 10th, 7th and 9th. So, in only in one of those years did they actually make the playoffs. Besides that, it's been a bit of a, a hard time to be a Huddersfield fan, I imagine. They did have some good periods after that 2013 season, but they feel the build on it. And this year was very disappointing. There was a lot expected of Huddersfield with some of the signs that they made and the field to make the playoffs. Going into next year, they've made a a whole bunch of new signings. Let's see how they go in 2021. But it's been a very long time for any silverware for Huddersfield. And it must be very hard for their fans to wait so long for silverware. And when I mean silverware, of course they won the League Leader Shield in 2013. That is silverware. But I'm pretty sure their fans would really want a Challenge Cup or a Super League trophy in that cabinet. And... So far, since they've been in the Super League, they've even failed to reach a grand final in the Super League area. So Huddersfield coming in fourth place tonight on this list. Coming in at number three on the list is Wakefield Trinity. Wakefield Trinity's last championship was in 1968, last Challenge Cup was in 1963, and their last major final was the 1979 Challenge Cup final, which they lost against Winters. They've been in the Super League since 1999. The last time that they made the playoffs was 2012. In the last 10 years, they've come 13th, 8th, 11th. Then they come 12th, two year in a row. Then 8th, then 5th, two year in a row. 9th, and then the last two years, they've come 10th. They've only made the playoffs three times since 1999. And in 2006 and 2015, they were nearly relegated. In 2006, they beat Castleford, their, one of their arch rivals, in uh, what was considered the relegation grand final, which they won. And in 2015, they won the million pound game to stay in the Super League. Um, being a Wakefield Trinity supporter, 
must be difficult at times. I mean, they have stayed in the Super League, which is a which is a positive, but they haven't made a major final since nineteen seventy nine, and they haven't won any silverware since nineteen sixty eight. So, it's a very long drought for Wakefield Trinity fans, and it would be uh, very hard considering that for two years in a row they come fifth, and. Once again, they find themselves coming ninth and then tenth two year in a row, and it it must be very hard um, as well with with the situation going on with the ground Bellevue, what's happening with that in the future and where they're going to go with that. But this is just me seeing it as a neutral. I know that Wakefield fans see it differently. They let me know that in the last video I did on the Super League, they dragged me over the coals over it, which is fair enough. But uh, tonight. Wakefield coming at number three, even though I imagine Wakefield fans would see it differently. Coming in at number two tonight is Warrington. Now, it's no secret. Warrington have the longest championship drought by a club, meaning that I'm not going to include Castleford in this because they haven't won one yet, but out of the teams that have won a, a, a championship in England, Warrington have the longest drought. 67 year it's going to be next year their last championship was in 1955 they've been runners up seven times since and in the Super League era 2012, 2013, 2016 and 2018 um, along the way they've, they've had some heartbreaks 2013 they led Wigan 16-6 at half time in that grand final and they lost 30 points to 16 and then in 2016 they led Wigan 6-2 at half time and lost 12-6 the club has had some success in the Challenge Cup. They've won nine Challenge Cups, but I imagine most Warrington fans out there would want to win a Super League Grand Final. There's been endless memes and jokes made about the club by other fans. It's their year, it's their year, it's going to happen, and then it doesn't happen. And then all the fans from all the other clubs laugh at them. And especially the last two years, they had the, the 2020 shock exit at the hands of Hull FC. And then in 2021, they had the shock exit against their neighbours, Hull Kingston Rovers, Hull FC's neighbours, I should say. Um, Warrington would be very hard to follow because they've got so much promise and they do make some decent signings and they, they do have a good supporter base. But for whatever reason, when it comes to the Super League, they just can't get it right and they can't get over the line and break that championship drought. Will they finally win a Super League Grand Final in the future? I believe so that they will. I'm not too sure if it's going to happen in, in the recent years coming up with St Ellen's dominating the competition. But I bet you Warrington fans are sick and tired of seeing this black and white photo of them lifting the trophy in 1955. So tonight, Warrington coming in second on this list. And coming in at number one in the hardest teams to follow in Super League on this list is Castleford. Castleford was founded in 1926, and as of 2021, they, they have never won the championship. Yes, that's right. You thought that Cronulla's wait for a first premiership slash championship was long. Castleford's is 96 years and counting. They have made two championship finals in between then in the old rugby football league days 1938-1939 they made the final there and then in 1968-1969 they lost the championship final there 14-12 against rivals Leeds they have won four challenge cups though their last one was in 1986 but since they've been in the Super League area they've been relegated twice from the Super League 2004 and 2006 and they've also lost Three Challenge Cups since uh, three Challenge Cup finals since their last Challenge Cup tri triumph, 1992, 2014, and 2021. In 2021, they actually led St Ellen's 12 6 half time there at Wembley, and then they were chased down and lost 26 points to 12. In 2017, they had their best season ever. They won the League Leaders' Shield for the first time at that stage in their 91 year history. And they finished 10 points clear of second place who were Leeds. So they had a, a very dominant season in 2017. And then just out from the grand final, about a week or so before the grand final, 
Zach Hardiker, who was one of um, Castleford's star players that year, tested positive to cocaine and he was banned from playing for the rest of the season. And he was suspended as well. Castleford ended up making the grand final that year. Their first since 1968-1969. And that was against Leeds. And they lost that game 24 points to 6 at Old Trafford. So following from that, Castleford did have two strong years after that. They, they reached the semi-finals in 2018 and 2019. But they lost both of those. So Castleford currently in a... 96 year premiership uh, drought or championship drought however you want to call it it must be very very hard to follow Castleford's considering that they've never won a championship I mean it's nearly been a hundred year it's almost certain that a couple of generations of Castleford fans would have gone to their graves not seeing their club win the championship but um, it's, it, it is sad to see that but it is a reality and that concludes me video tonight of the, the top five hardest clubs to follow in the Super League currently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you think is the hardest club to follow in the Super League currently? It's always nice to know your comments and, and thoughts on the videos. and I'd like to know what you think of um, this list tonight. But anyways, this is Rugby League History. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be making another video very shortly and I'll catch us all later in that one. Tatty bye for now.